Hi girls, welcome to the very last video in the quantitative section of Unit 1 Chemistry. So today I'm going to be talking about the difference between empirical and molecular formula and how to uh, convert between the two. So what I've got to begin with are these two equations. Now I'm going to go to your notes. This time they actually work so that I can go through what we're talking about here. So this is the very last page of the quantitative notes. It'll be just before the question time questions. And we're gonna look at converting empirical formula to molecular formula, because it's all good and well to know what our simplest ratio is, but what is the actual ratio of molecules or atoms, sorry, within our molecules? So the molecular formula provides us, this is helpful that it doesn't work, Again, sorry girls. The molecular formula is going to provide us with the actual number of atoms in each molecule and you're just going to have to follow along with me at the moment because tech is, seems to be uh, working very well not. So the molecular formula provides the actual number of atoms in each molecule. It is always a whole number multiple of the empirical formula. So you can't have C 2.5 H5. That doesn't work. To convert empirical formula to molecular formula, you always multiply your empirical formula by a multiplication factor. So how do you find out what the multiplication factor is? You're either going to be given it in the question or you'll be able to figure it out using one of these two equations. So my advice is you've got a big blank section here and uh, you can talk about, no, I can't, still can't highlight. So you can talk about these two formulas here and I'm just gonna go back to this so that you can see. So the two formulas that you need to write in that big blank space are multiplication factor is going to equal the formula mass or MR of the molecular formula. So that's MR of molecular over the MR of empirical. So that's gonna tell you how much you've multiplied by, or if you wanna figure out your multiplication factor, so this is what you want to know here. You want to know what your molecular formula is. You're going to need the multiplication factor and you're gonna multiply that by the empirical formula. So when you continue on to qu from question A from the previous page, so we're not continuing on from question uh, B or C there, we're continuing on from question A. Uh, we're going to look at the relative molecular mass of the hydrocarbon is 28 and what is its molecular formula. So now we are going to be looking at this second. Sorry, girls. We're going to be looking at this second equation here. So I'm going to get rid of that there. We're going to be looking at the blue equation. So we want to know our molecular formula. So the molecular formula is going to be 28 and the empirical, sorry, we need to have our multiplication factor. We're actually going to be looking at the pink box. Sorry, girls. So looking at the pink box here, we want to calculate what is our multiplication factor. So what we know is that they've given us the value of 28. When we go back, to page, just gonna figure this out for you, page 38. Girls, in part A, we know that the molecular weight of the hydrocarbon, if it's CH2, okay, it's gonna to equal to 12 plus two times one. So that's going to equal to 14. So that's where that 14 has come from. So now we're going to do that multiplication factor and we're going to end up with a multiplication factor of two. When we do that, we're then going to multiply that by our empirical formula, two times CH2, which is going to end up with a C2H4. Yeah, and that four has come because we've gone two times two here. Okay, so that's it from the examples in the book. I'm just going to have a look. Yeah, that's it. What I would like you to try and attempt now is all of the remaining question time questions that you haven't done. But in particular, I want you to try 
question 18, 19, and 20. And then beyond that, you're going to be going back and doing some of your other quantitative, quantitative practice. But that's it. That's the end of our first area of study.